Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to show you how the Liu Ren Palm Oracle works. Now for those of you who don't know it by name, but you may have watched a Chinese movie, an old Chinese movie, uh, at some point you may have seen that there was a feng shui master and they're doing all these weird things with their fingers, they're counting something and then they give you an answer to a question. So this is what we call the Liu Ren Palm Oracle or the Xiao Liu Ren. And um, this looks very mysterious, but it's actually super simple. And I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself. So um, essentially, the Luren Palm Oracle is used so that you can raise a question at any time and uh, get divine guidance through your hands. Um, you can make a divination regarding a particular outcome or just ask a simple question. So it's used for simple questions like yes or no questions or uh, should or shouldn't questions. These kind of very straightforward, forward, very binary questions. And key is that you have a clear mind and that you are not biased or emotionally attached to the answer, which means that it works better if you do it for someone else. Because if you do it for yourself, obviously you know what you want the answer to be, and um, that may influence the outcome. But in any case, um, if you feel that you can um, make an, an unbiased uh, or yeah, make an unbiased divination about your own questions, that's fine, just go ahead. Now, uh, first thing, you need to always use the left hand. We don't use the right hand for that always the left hand. And um, then what you do, you mentally label the three fingers in the middle like this. So at the base of the index finger, you label it with steady. Then at the tip, it's called obstruction. Then you've got happy, you've got void, you've got dispute, and you've got fortune. So this is how you mentally label your fingers. Now, if you can't remember this right away, then you can just always use this slide as a template, just take a screenshot and you just always use this one um, as a template until you know the numbers and the six labels there. So steady, obstruction, void, happy, fortune and dispute. And they don't change, they're always the same. So these, these are the six labels you put those three, uh, you put on those three fingers. Now, um, there's a numbering system as well. So the sequence goes like this. Number one is at steady. Number two is at obstruction. Number three at happy. Number four at dispute. Five is at fortune. And six is at void. So it always starts with number one at the bottom of the index finger. And then you just go clockwise. This does not change. The sequence doesn't change. The labeling doesn't change. It's always the same. Now, um, so when you then count, and I will show you what you need to count, you always go in this sequence, yeah? You don't go reverse, you don't go crisscross, you don't mix and match, you always go in this particular sequence. Now, um, the Luren Palm Oracle is used based on the date and time you are asking a question. And for this, in the old days, they use the lunar calendar, but this is not valid anymore today. Today, we use the solar calendar for the counting. Yeah, uh, don't mix and match the solar with the lunar. It, the solar calendar is the Gregorian calendar that we all use. And because this is the calendar we all use in our daily lives, uh, it would not make any sense to use the lunar calendar anymore. This was done before the sol solar calendar even existed. Yeah, so um, stick to the solar calendar with this. Don't mix and match. And if you use the lunar calendar, you will likely get the wrong result if you even know how to use the lunar calendar. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, the accuracy with the solar calendar is much, much higher than if you use the lunar one. Now, the one thing you may need to take a screenshot of is this one here. 
So aside from the date, we always also need to take the hour into account in which we're asking the question. Now, the hours in Chinese metaphysics, they always start with the rat hour. The rat hour is always the first hour of the day. And the last hour of the day is the pig hour. So the rat hour, let me just highlight this, is the first hour of the day. And it lasts from 11 p.m. until 1 a.m. or 12.59 a.m. the next day. This is the first hour. So if you are asking a question on a particular day at 11.50 p.m., that would be in the rat hour. If you are asking a question on a day at 1.30 a.m., sorry, at 12.30 a.m., so at half past midnight, this would also be the rat hour. The second hour is the ox hour, and this is from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. or 2.59. It's always 59 because it switches at the full hour. Third hour is the tiger hour, 3 a.m. to 4.59 and so on. So take a screenshot of that because you need to understand the, the animal sign that is associated with the hour you're asking the question in. And most importantly, you actually need to know the number which hour it is. This is the fifth hour or the sixth hour, the seventh hour, and so on. This is what you need to know. Now, you may have noticed that there are only 12 hours, and this is because in Chinese metaphysics, uh, two Western hours equal one uh, Chinese hour, because there are 12 earthly branches or 12 animal signs, and each animal sign is associated with two Western hours. So there is an altogether of 12 um, animal signs, 12 hours. So take a screenshot of this or write it down. This is probably what you may not instinctively know. The rest should then be fairly straightforward. Now, let's say you are asking a question on the 26th of October. Yeah, forget about the hour for now. It's the 26th of October, and this is the date you are asking the question. Now, always, always, always start with the month first. The month, then the day, then the hour. This is the sequence, don't mix it up. We always start with the month. Now, according to the uh, solar calendar, because again, we're using the solar calendar for this, the October, is the 10th month, yeah, 10th month. Therefore, we now start at number one and we count to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we end up here at dispute. And if you do this on your hands, yeah, then you just go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so this is what happens when you see in the movies the old masters counting something on their fingers, right? This is what they're doing. So they're just counting this up. So you end up at dispute. Yeah. So this one here. After you've counted to ten, taking just a month into account. Now, then we look at the date, it's the 26th of October. Therefore, we have to count to 26 and the starting point is dispute because this is where we ended up uh, counting to 10. So this becomes our number one now, yeah? So this becomes our starting point. We start here. Um, this is where you ended up with the month countdown. So counting to 26, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So now you end here at fortune. And again, you do this on your hands, which is then what looks very fancy in the movie and very complicated and very mysterious. So you end up at fortune. Yeah, this is now um, your halfway point, more or less. And it again becomes your number one. 
because this is uh, the end of the countdown for the, uh, for the day. Now, let's say the question was asked between 9 p.m. and 10.59 p.m. This is the pig hour and it's the 12th hour. So again, you count, and this time we start at fortune because this was the end point, and we use this, we count to 12, because this is the 12th hour. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we end up at dispute. This is our answer to the question, whichever question you ask. Dispute is the answer to the question. Um, now, if you don't like the if you don't don't like the outcome, yeah, don't do this again at a different hour. Um, just take it as it is, um, because if you if you ask the same question several times per day or, or, or um, every day at a different hour, of course, you're gonna get a different outcome, but the first one is always the right one. Now, let me explain what this actually means. So once you've counted first a month, then the day, and then the hour, you will end up at, a, at one particular number here. Now, if you end up at fortune, this is the best to arrive at, yeah? It means that whatever you're asking, it's, def it's a definite yes, or it's a definite yes, you should. Uh, the outcome is definitely positive. If it arrives at void, uh, this is the opposite of fortune and it's a definite no, yeah? So this is, there's no, uh, there's no gray area here, it's a definite no. Fortune is a definite yes, void is a definite no. If you arrive at steady, then it means that you're slowly making progress to whatever it is that you want the outcome to be. There are no horrible disruptions. There are no horrible challenges or obstacles. It's that you slowly but surely get to the outcome you want. And there's nothing to be afraid of. It may just not be very quickly. Yeah, but the answer is most likely yes, you're making progress towards the uh, outcome that you want. Now, if you end up at obstruction, uh, there may be possible setbacks and traps, even challenges, obstructions. Uh, there may be potential drama and unforeseen circumstances. So it's definitely not smooth sailing. Um, it's, it's not a definite yes, because there will be a lot of unforeseen circumstances that change the situation entirely. Um, then we have happy or happiness. So obviously this is a good outcome. It indicates surprises and, and just generally happy outcomes. You will be happy with the outcome. You may not get the outcome you want necessarily, but the outcome itself is something that will make you happy, which is also good. And then lastly, dispute where we ended up here. Um, this indicates that there may be a change of mind and disagreements. Either you will change your mind um, or the, the other person, if there's another person involved in your question, may change their mind. There may be some discussions over details that may have to be ironed out. There's just something needs to be um, aligned between one or two or more people in order to get um, an outcome that is satisfactory. So it's not smooth sailing. There may be some disagreements, some miscommunication. All right, so this is the this is the Luren Palm Oracle. Very, very straightforward. It just looks mysterious when you see it, uh, when a master does it, but now you know how to do this yourself. You can do it for any um, questions you may have. Yeah, binary, very simple questions. But again, stick to one question per hour because if you ask two questions or three questions in the same hour, you will always end up at the same with the same result and stick with the first answer you get it's the correct answer even if you don't like it yeah um i would say if you ask a question and you get an unsatisfactory answer wait a couple of weeks or until something in the situation has changed before you repeat or ask the same question but other than that just stick with the answer that you receive here all right 
Um, I hope this helped. I hope this cleared up some of the mystery that you um, that you may feel when you see one of these things happening in, in the movies or in real life. And good luck when using this. This usually has a about a 70-80% accuracy. Yeah, so there's still always universal influence, something that uh, is unforeseen, but this is pretty accurate. And again, use the solar calendar for this. So have fun this, with this and um, please like, comment and share if you like this video. I will see you soon.